the top two blocks here deal with your final exam. And your final exam is the IT specialist HTML and CSS certification exam. So it is required in this class, it is a final exam. And you do need to take it at the Professional Testing Center, which is on the Aero Park campus. Okay, and you will need to either phone them or email them and reserve a time. And these are the testing times in December. Uh, you will need to bring with you uh, a valid ID and your CertiPort username and password, which you should have because that was something we did back in, I believe, lesson 12. Uh, you have to have an appointment and we do allow retakes, but CertiPort has a requirement that you wait 24 hours. So when you schedule your test, keep that in mind. Um, I would schedule before Wednesday morning, the 14th, because then you have enough time to retake if you need to. Uh, and all you need to do is get a passing score. Okay? A pass is a pass. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Passing score is 700. Doesn't matter if you get 700 or if you get 900. Uh, passing score is passing. Okay. Um, so how do you prepare for this test? The objectives are your study guide. When people write test questions, they are given an objective and a sub-objective. This is the objective. These are the sub-objectives. They write questions based on the sub-objectives. And those questions go through many rounds of reviews to make sure that they align with the sub-objective. So these sub-objectives are exactly what you're going to see on the test. So you need to know what all of them are. Okay, And the test questions are not like your normal true-false multiple choice. Okay, They are very similar to the types of test questions that have been on your unit tests. <laughs> that's, why, uh, that's why I've been uh, creating those questions on the unit tests so that you guys get good at taking tests with those kind of questions. Um, but if you look through here, you should be able to go through and know what all of these things are. Now, if you go through here and let's say, oh, I'm, I'm not sure about all of these different types of positioning, okay? Then you need to look that up and refresh, okay? Because there's gonna be questions on this and these are timed tests. So it's, it, you know, you're not, you're not gonna have a whole lot of time to you know, waste on a question. Uh, so in fact, when you're taking the test, if you, if you can't remember, you can actually mark the question for review and move on to the next one. Then at the end, you can go back and review the question. That's a very good strategy when taking this test. Some of the questions are really wordy. Um, so this, is your study guide. Um, then to practice what I did, and this is why that very last unit test has to be completed by December 4th. Um, because on the 5th of December, uh, I've taken all of those practice questions and put them into this practice test for you. Um, and so this is not a graded test, but it will show you right away if you got something right or wrong, and you can take it as many times as you need for practice. Um, and this is, again, to help to prepare you guys for this certification test. In addition to the Moodle test, we have Gmetrics practice tests. So Gmetrics is actually software that you have to pay for, but um, we got kind of a deal with our testing vouchers where we get Gmetrics free. So um, not free for everybody, just free for you. <laughs> so um, we have just enough copies for everybody in our class. Um, 
So you are going to want to download the software and install it. And then you're going to have to have an activation code. And this is the activation code you need to use. So this is the address where you create an account. And all you need is an account, username and password. You download the software from here. And then there's directions on how to use it here. Um, I also created a little video uh, showing you how to download, install, and redeem the codes. I did this last year. I don't think that procedure has changed. Um, then, so that's your practice test. Uh, then I do have resources for you to review. So let's say you've gone through the um, objectives and there's a couple that you're fuzzy on. So where do you go to review? Um, I've got a site for HTML review, but if you just wanna look up specific tags, you can do that at the tag review and the CSS review will allow you to look up very specific uh, properties in the CSS. So if positioning was confusing, here it is. And then these are the five that you need to know. And this goes through each one. Okay, so that's why you need to look through that objective list and then use these resources to make sure you know how to do everything. Okay, and if you do that, you should be fine on the certification exam. Okay, so that is the exam prep block. And then the certification exam block. Uh, again, I've got the dates and I've got the phone number and the email. Um, and this is where I will be re recording your score. So there's 41 questions approximately, and you have 45 minutes to complete the test. And that's why you don't really want to dawdle too long <laughs> on any question. If, if, if there's a lot of text and you know, um, you're know you running short on time, some of the questions have a lot of text, I would mark it for review, move on, and then you can always go back to it. Okay, um, so 41 questions, 45 minutes to complete it. Uh, you need 70% or higher to pass, and that translates into about 700 points. Um, so if you don't get 700, you can always retake as long as you have 24 hours, you know, before you attempt to retake it. So that is why it's really important that you schedule your test before, you know, at least by Wednesday morning, okay? Because then you, you'd have 24 hours and be able to retake it Thursday afternoon. Um, if you take it twice and you did not pass, I would take your higher score and then I prorate it. And I don't prorate it based on the 1,000 points. I prorate it on the points you need to pass. So if you need 700 to pass, I would take your score divided by 700, and then that would be the score you'd get on your final. So you know, even if you didn't pass the certification, you will still get points on your final. Okay? It's not like you would fail. But um, I do believe that every single person in this class can pass as long as you know you review the objectives and you take a look at those materials. I'm confident every single one of you will be able to pass. Um, the other thing that I have in this block is the web hosting sites. So um, this is just kind of a heads up that um, while you are an NMC CIT student, you will have your website because we actually use it in other CIT uh, classes. But once you move on from NMC, uh, then the website will go away. And if you want to have a website, you know, then you are going to want to get your own. So I've got some articles here. I also know of some other sites that are pretty inexpensive. Um, so you know, if if you want to know of other hosting sites 
uh, in addition to that, just throw me an email and I can share that information with you. Uh, so if you guys have any questions about the test, G-Metrics, uh, or any of the resources, please let me know because I want you all to do well on this test. Okay, so good luck, everybody. And please let me know how you do after you take the test. I hate waiting until <laughs> after, I won't even know until probably Friday the 16th. That would be the earliest I would know. So um, I always appreciate an email so that you guys tell me ahead of time uh, how you do. Okay, so good luck, everybody.